Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about prevention and treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Now, it may come as a surprise to you that 45% of the risk factors for Alzheimer's disease are actually modifiable and preventable. Yes, 45%. So, what are these modifiable risk factors? Starting from early life, it has been found that the more education you have, the more protection your brain gets. Now, this can be formal and informal education. Education stimulates new neural pathways in the brain and these pathways strengthen the brain and give your brain a lot of reserve to prevent the decline that will be associated with Alzheimer's disease. So it helps to protect your brain. As one gets older, one should also learn either formally or informally. You can have hobbies and once you've mastered one hobby, you should go on and pick up another skill or hobby as continuous learning stimulates the brain. In midlife, the important risk factors are hearing loss and high cholesterol. If you have hearing loss or a buzzing sound in the ear, do go see the ENT doctor to get yourself checked. Do also take supplements that can prevent hearing loss and strengthen your hearing. I've attached a link with this video which details one such supplement which helps to protect the hearing and prevent against tinnitus or rather helps to treat tinnitus. Now why does hearing loss lead to dementia? So remember, when we hear, we listen to sounds, voices, music, conversations and this helps to stimulate our thought and emotional process in the brain and this helps to form nerve pathways. So it is no surprise that when you have less of hearing, you're essentially shut out from the world and you have less stimulation of the brain cells. The other risk factors are traumatic brain injury and depression. So repeated minor trauma to the brain can cause acceleration of accumulation of amyloid beta and tau proteins and these are the proteins responsible for Alzheimer's disease. When we are depressed, we also shut ourselves out from the world, hence we have less neural pathways and our brain engages less with the world. The other risk factors are diabetes, blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, alcohol, physical inactivity and obesity. In late life, important risk factors are vision loss, social isolation and air pollution. So it is important to be socially interactive throughout our lives, including in elderly age. If you have vision loss in when you're older, do go see an eye doctor and get yourself treated, be it cataract, glaucoma or problems involving the back of your eye, which is the retina. Do also take supplements to strengthen your vision and to prevent vision loss. I've attached the link below to one such supplement which will help to protect against vision loss. It is also important to get good sleep. As during sleep, toxins are removed for the brain. And what are these toxins? These toxins are none other than amyloid beta and tau protein, whose accumulation ultimately leads to Alzheimer's disease. You should sleep for about seven hours a day. Ideally, sleep fragmentation is also a risk factor. That is, if your sleep gets interrupted on and off throughout the night. So it is important to get your sleep problems sorted out, be it insomnia or lack of sleep or sleep apnea where your tongue, tongue fall back and obstructs your airway or restless legs. That is, you move your legs a lot towards the later part of the evening and at night. Now, what is the treatment of Alzheimer's disease? Now, it is still important for lifestyle factors and these lifestyle factors are proper diet, 
exercise as exercise increases blood flow to the brain social interaction and mental stimulation such as having hobbies the other treatment for dementia is drugs that can slow down the progress now these drugs are called acetylcholine receptor antibody drugs and they prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine in the brain which is a chemical messenger involved in learning and memory now these are exciting times for the treatment of alzheimer's disease we now have special targeted drugs which remove the amyloid beta from the brain and these drugs are given as an intravenous infusion and they help to clear the amyloid beta from the brain now once the amyloid beta is cleared then tau does not accumulate either this is one of the newest and most promising of therapies in the treatment of alzheimer's disease i hope you've enjoyed watching this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time